that is fucking horrific. <sighs> Somebody has someone's dead dog in a bag hanging up where people put the dog shit. Wasn't expecting that today. That's a bit much, I think. There's plenty of parking on the street today. So I gotta hurry the fuck up. I have all of my shit I'm shipping for all of you who have ordered books and chat books and shit. And then I have to go get a bunch of paper products. Not for books, but toilet paper, paper towels, tissue, cleaning wipes all that kind of fucking malarkey. So, I don't know, we'll see how this day goes. I have no idea if that's gonna stay. We will find out. Sanitize, sanitize. So now, we drive down the many winding floors. A bunch of people on the street. Oh, it's ain't that bad. Oh, I'm gonna miss that light though, fuck. Yeah, so I have a, a new thing that everyone should fucking do. So you know that whole thing like where they ask, um, I can't remember who the actress is now. Shit, I can't remember. Maybe it was Betty Davis? I don't know. But they said what what advice do you give aspiring actors and actresses coming to Hollywood? And she said, uh, she's all, take fountain, it's faster. And that's funny, because it's fucking true. Like, if you drive down Sunset, like, you're gonna be there all fucking day. But, if you drive down um, Fountain, which is the next street over, like, there's nobody on it. It's like, so easy. So being here, um, I mean, Vermont's fucked all the time, Alvarado's fucked all the time, fucking Third's fucked all the time, Olympic's fucked all the time, um, Sixth is fucked most of the time. But, um, so maybe someday they'll paint my face on a building, have it say, like people, what advice do I give people coming to LA? Take 8th Street, it's faster. Boom. 8th Street is the fucking shit. I got all around fucking town yesterday driving up and down 8th Street and side streets and shit. It was so fast. It was great. Now we're gonna go to the P.O. Oh, this shit's nuts. What is she waving to? Okay. And because I always say, like, I'm not people ready until noon. I was trying to get out of the house. I woke up at 8.45 today, you guys. Trying so hard to get the fuck out of the house. It is now 12.33 and that dude just ran a stop sign like a dick. Oh, those are huskies. Why do people have huskies in this fucking place? Is this meter still broken? It sure is. So this is where I'm parking. Yeah, uh, a broken meter to me means you can't give me a ticket. Dogs playing in the dirt, pissing on shit. And if you look up there, that is that building that I showed you that went in the other day. Southwestern. So there's a another new COVID strain. And I've been getting really laxed with my mask wearing. And then a bunch of people I know got the new fucking strain. And they're not doing too hot. So I am going to not risk it because the post office is kind of small. I'm actually gonna leave you guys on and see how this goes. So you can see the glory that is the post office.
fuck. So that wasn't too bad. There were people in there, and I thought they were in line, but they were all just fucking around, like, filling shit out and stuff. My knee is hurting so bad that I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. This is getting stupid. Now I just have to go do normal, normal person stuff, like buying toilet paper. At this bus stop right here on Commonwealth and Wilshire, there is always some weird ass chick. And it's never the same one. It's always just some like random fucking chick that looks like kind of strung out, kind of terrified. I don't know. Lafayette Park's right here, so maybe they hang out in Lafayette Park. I don't fucking know. But like seeing some of the faces with that bus stop, dude, fucking hell. So we're gonna go up Rampart and at the corner of Rampart and 6th, there's this uh, little dollar store that's not really a dollar store, but it's kind of cheap like a dollar store. The funny thing about LA, dude, is that you could walk. But because of how spread out everything is, it's just a little too damn far. Like, if you wanted to, I'm sure you can go from, like, walk here to the valley and make it there by dinner time, kind of thing, you know? But, and I'm sure people bike all over the place, but there's so many fucking traffic lights. Like, I don't even know how biking would be enjoyable. You'd have to stop as soon as you got fucking going and shit. I don't know, but this goes back to if I were to move anywhere and still be in this country, it would probably be San Francisco or any of the beach cities for the most part. Oh, first bargain is what the store is called. So all morning. I was editing that fucking day in the life video and it was over an hour long, but I got it down to, I think 34 minutes. So it should be pretty fun. And what else was fun was I got to put um, my old band, the murder cult music in there because the murder cults not on any weird distribution thing that would make like YouTube copyright strike me or anything like that. So it was cool. Add a little bit of a, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not a meltdown by any means, but um, last night I was looking at all the notes I have for things I'm going to be doing videos on. There are also things that I want to save for the Poetic Anarchy course. And then there's also things I want to save for the podcast. And I actually have some interviews lined up and all that's going great. But I was like, okay, this should go with the podcast. This should go with Anarchy Crew. This should go with the podcast. This should go with Anarchy Crew. And I'm doing all this shit. And then I'm like... Like, fuck, dude. Like, you're washed up. Like, you ain't got nothing else. Like, and it's like that whole fucking shit that we talked about with fucking imposter syndrome, with fucking um, self-doubt creeping in. And it's really difficult because I have to constantly tell myself that that's not real. You know what I'm saying? And one of the problems that I have, and I think I'm going to do a video on this right now. Like, why am I talking about it now? I should just fucking do a video on this. Anyway, I'll just talk about, like, my shit here and leave the rest for the actual video I'm going to do. When all of that doubt starts creeping, 
And if this is just talking about me, let me just fucking make this, let me make this real. Let me fucking break this fucking shit down. Honestly, when I'm like at night with a bottle of wine, like working on shit, this is so fucking stupid, but that wine, quiet self-doubt fucking down. All of that kind of shit. And it's funny because I don't think it's the wine that does it, obviously. Because all alcohol does is lower your inhibitions. So a lot of people will say, like, however you act when you're drunk is how you would normally act if you weren't worried about what people thought of you. I don't know, because I find myself a very pleasant drunk. I do get a little loud when I'm talking sometimes, if I'm in a social situation. I would rather drink by myself than with anybody, but that's a whole other thing. But anyway, the whole reason why I'm talking about this like this is because last night I wasn't really drinking. Like I had a couple beers throughout the evening. I didn't, like have any wine or brandy or anything hard or anything. And I was just sitting with my thoughts and like writing stuff down and stuff. And I don't know why I wasn't drinking, but I wasn't. And then all this other shit came up. I don't know if I'm going to share this in the video, so I'll share this now. But I am, I don't know how into shit you are, but like I'm very, like I take on people's shit. Like, I'm very empathic in that way, if you believe in any of this shit. So when I'm talking to a bunch of people who are very open about their own loathing, let's say, I take that on, you know? And there's a part of me that feels guilty talking about this at all right now, because now I'm assuming that the people that I'm talking to or talking about are going to go, Oh no, I shouldn't talk like that with Matt anymore. You know? And that's not what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to be a bad friend, you know? Like if you need to talk to me about shit, talk to me about shit. Um, this is just something I got to fucking work through, but there's just a lot of shit like that. And so then after I have those conversations and then I'm working on my shit, of course, the first fucking thing that pops into my head is like, oh, you know, you're not good enough and all that shit. And so last night I was like, you know what, dude, like this is bullshit. I know this is bullshit, but my mind's trying to fucking play tricks on me right now. So I'm like, I'm just going to fucking go to bed. So I fucking went to bed so early. It was like 11 something and that is just like really fucking early for me and I didn't do any writing last night I didn't do fucking shit I fucking just as soon as I felt all that shit coming I'm like I'm not gonna battle this all night and I'm not gonna get fucking plastered drunk just to quiet that down I'm just gonna fucking go to sleep and that seemed to work out okay. So, um, another tool for the toolbox, I guess. So I'm trying to put together everything I need to do today because there was some stuff from the other day that I never got done. Mainly the uh, Poetic Anarchy Volume 3 book. <sighs> it's done. I just need to like give it a once over. So I should do that. I just feel like it. it's going to like if I do it the way I normally do once overs like I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff so I need to have like a complete night I'll probably do it like that yeah I'll do it like that I need to do a few videos I would like to get at least Tuesdays because today's Tuesday so and it's like 10 o'clock so if I could get today's videos and tomorrow's videos in the can that would be cool so that would be two videos for the channel, one Poetic Anarchy video, and then two videos tomorrow. And you know what? Fuck it. I'll do a Poetic Anarchy video tomorrow too. Actually, I already have a video for tomorrow. 
Okay, so I'll do that. It's the Sims poetry. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's the other episode with uh, about Bukowski and rage. Okay, so I have one video for tomorrow done. Maybe I'll post that today. Yeah, I'll post that today. I don't know, like, I feel like I'm getting like, when I look at my files on my computer, I'm like, okay, this is turning into madness. I don't understand what's happening. So maybe I should just start saving more shit on my external hard drive because this is getting kind of crazy. So I gotta do those things. There's some eBay shit I would like to do. Um, I'm tired of selling the books off individually. I think what I want to do is um, do giant lots. Um, just because I have, like, all my bookcases are full. My whole car is full of books, boxes of books. And now I have another storage unit that is still boxes of books. So I would like to get that done because at least... For the next two months, I have a discount on the storage unit, and then after that, I have to pay a full price for it. Really cool if I could empty that out. Like, empty enough room out here to bring everything from storage in here. I kept saving all these books thinking that I was going to be able to open a bookstore, but my fucking dad fell for that same fucking trap. I'm like, well, I gotta keep all this inventory. It's never gonna fucking happen, bro. Fuck. So there's that. And then... Uh, let me see. I feel like I'm fucking forgetting something. I'm interviewing um, Matthew Buckley Smith from the Slee Ricketts podcast for my podcast tomorrow night. And that is going to be a humdinger. So I can't wait for that. Um, I have questions, so I should probably put those questions together a little bit more sometime before tomorrow. And I actually got his book. It's over there. I should have had it here to show you. But I'll, I'll go through that book again. I have to pay the phone bill today. So that's fucking fun. Fucking hate paying bills, dude. I'm going pretty hard with this whole minimalist thing. I want to just get rid of everything. And a lot of people talk about how, like, before people commit suicide, or sometimes even when they just die of natural causes, they get rid of everything you know, just to like make it easier. And I hope that's not why I'm doing it, but um, I'm just fucking tired of having shit. I, I like, I, there, there's, okay, I don't want my car to have anything happen to it, but I'm getting tired of having a car. Like I'm just getting to the point where there's so much shit that I really don't fucking need and I accumulate. Like, I'm going to start getting rid of a bunch of my shirts. So if there's any shirts that you've seen me wear on streams or anything like that that you guys want, let me know. Because I'm about to fucking go ape shit and, like, sell, like, all of my fucking belongings on eBay. What if I could do that? Just, like, do an eBay post. It's, like, lot of all of my life. Like, you, you will have parts of my soul and all of my belongings. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. I'm going to put another chapter up on Horrywood today. So I got to write it. And that shouldn't take me too long. But um, So I'll do that. Yeah, today's going to be kind of a busy day. So I guess I should quit fucking around talking to you about it. And just fucking get to the fucking nitty gritty and do the fucking thing, man. Fuck. So it is 6.45 in the morning, and I'm awake because I just got home. Oh, now that I'm inside, the fucking sun's coming up, so you can actually fucking see. I had a really long night. I don't know how to say this, but I'm still drunk, so um, I'm trying to, like, get my fucking shit together here. And obviously, I should just fucking go to bed. I feel fucking awkward and weird and sick so try to have some coffee something amazing happened i don't know exactly how this is gonna happen i think i'm going to plan a poetry tour for next year i wrote down 14 cities that i think i can get people to well one city i have twice 
but there's a reason for that and I'll get into that at a later time. But I think I can get there, do promotion in the town, do the event and have it be beneficial for um, a venue and so on and so forth. So I started putting these ideas together last night. And so, of course, I couldn't sleep because of that. <sighs> and then ended up going out. So I'm just, I'm kind of over the moon right now. Like with all these like ideas bubbling. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Uh, hey, um, I'm bawling like a fucking baby right now, dude. Ah, oh, I just did the um, video called, uh, what the fuck was it called? Oh, what people are saying. Like, I never thought. I never thought that Poetic Anarchy would be something that was so fucking... Like, I was just doing it because I was sick and tired of how people talk about poetry. And I was sick and tired of hearing people say that they always wanted to write but couldn't write. And I'm like, well, fucking poetry is such a good fucking entry point. You know, it's so fucking simple. It's so fucking easy. I don't know. I guess I didn't realize, like, what effects that would have on people's, like, lives and shit wasn't ready for that you know it's just so fucking touching and shit I'm not trying to fucking <laughs> just sit here and ball my fucking eyes out and shit <clears throat> I don't think anyone ever tries to fucking ball their eyes out but um I don't know I fucking I've said it before and I'll say it again Anarchy Crew you guys are doing this you know like I haven't done anything that you guys can't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is all you guys. All of the amazing shit you guys are doing is you doing it. So, I'm just glad that you guys have the ability to do it. I appreciate it. Oh, fucking hell, man. Knock it the fuck off. Am I right? Pretty sure this is gonna get interrupted by a phone call. <clears throat> but I just wanted to share a little bit. So yesterday, um, the episode of the Slee Ricketts podcast that I was a guest on went up, and today the Secret Show episode um, went up. And it's funny because the episode that went up on the main feed is like, like we, we basically went in to talk about three points. And the first episode just talks about the first point. And... Um, I feel like I'm very reserved on that episode. <laughs> and then on the Secret Show episode, which is like their paywall episode, that's the episode where I'm like fucking calling shit out and fucking throwing bombs and all sorts of other shit. So that was just, it was funny how that worked out. So that was kind of cool. But um, also I interviewed Matthew Buckley Smith the host of Sleeve Rickets for my podcast. That was a lot of fun. And that will be up next Wednesday and next Saturday because it was kind of long, so I had to break it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> that's cool. I'm fucking depressed as shit today after doing that video and reading the testimonials and now people are saying really fucking sweet things to me and it's fucking breaking my heart man so i don't know but honestly doing the slee ricketts thing was a lot of fun and matt and cameron are awesome then having matt come on my show was a lot of fun so if you haven't listened to slee ricketts yet go to whatever podcast thing you go and look up slee ricketts it's a red image of a skeleton smoking a cigarette you'll like it i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew or the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you